And uh, someone has reminded me today is not completely the last day of Code Refinery. It's the last day of streaming, but the teaching continues with the bring your own code sessions where you can, um, well, bring your stuff and you ask us questions and we look live at things and give advice. So from these icebreakers, um, does this need to be bigger? What's the worst bug you've seen or experienced? So anyone want to go first? The ones that are resolved by restarting your computer. <laughs> The ones that you cannot, yeah, where you cannot fixing. pinpoint why they happen. Yeah. They just happen and then they are not there anymore. And then you're like, okay, is this fine? Yeah. So I wrote down my answer, but it, it was a, a memory issue in a C code, which is always very mm. hard to um, figure out. But also at that time, uh, I, uh, I was and our group was not using either version control or um, uh, or tests. So just, I was working on something for a day and something else broke mm -hmm. and I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> I yeah. think that's a, at least with C, I think that's a relatively common experience. Yeah. I had something similar once and the only way I fixed it was by running the code in a loop a thousand times, which would some sort of reliably cause an error message when quitting and then come in and got half my code until I could narrow it down to one line. I'm sure there's better ways, but that was what I knew how to do at the time. Yeah, unfortunately this was, um, this was a problem where the code runs um, from the beginning to the end and produces incorrect results, but also in a statistical way. So like you have to run it a bunch of times before you can notice that it's slightly off. Like, mm -hmm. It really was the worst kind of problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so my worst bugs, or you could say maybe what's been worst to solve has been things like I'm editing some code but that code isn't even running because the bug is somewhere else. Like once right. I made a, was it debugging or testing tutorial or something? And I had the same code in my, the same code was in the file twice. No. The same function was defined twice and people were editing yeah. the first one. and. Uh, right. towards the second definition took precedence and it wasn't even running and yeah and there's another one um that i think is kind of a good lead-in for today's topics so um this was that i was i, I wrote a measurement for a, a, an a high performance computing program that was, we were spending millions of hours to run, mm -hmm. um, like, like hundreds of thousands of euros worth of computing time. Yeah. And I wrote a measurement that calculates A, B, and C, and then it should add A, B, and C together and print <laughs> the result. I added B and C together and printed the result instead and never printed A anywhere <laughs> in the program. So yeah, um, that wasted some time yeah and uh it's also one of those things that like no matter how well you test a that's not, mm -hmm. it, it's not going to help <laughs> so mm -hmm. um yeah so like properly testing the program before starting to run it would have been very helpful yeah So, uh, how do you make sure your code continues to work when collaborating with others? Let's 
like if it works one day, how does it work tomorrow? Have you ever had these kind of bugs where something worked, it was nicely tested, but then it got changed and broke, and then everything um, well. I guess that memory issue in C is one of these things. Yeah. You can easily break something in a completely different place of the code. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes also just manually running it and printing some variables values brings brings me quite far. Yeah. And I guess that's uh, quite quite often the starting point of testing. Yeah. Manually looking yeah. at prints. I guess as a spoiler alert, we're going to talk about exactly this kind of stuff today. And you'll see what we tend to do these days because it's best practice. So I didn't see a good suggestion for what to say. Someone suggested Sally Scripps sleek software solution swiftly, but we need something quick and easy to say, not that we're going to trip those up. What if we say fair software? So me, Samantha, Yarno, I'll repeat fair software. 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 Okay, is it balanced? <coughs> to me, Yarno might have been a little bit louder than Samantha. But I'm only here for a very short time. Mm, so. Okay. Better that you are balanced. So. Yeah, but it's 10. Uh, should we start with the jingle? Yeah, okay, let's go. Hello, welcome. And we have Samantha for the introduction. Oh, already here, okay. Uh, yeah. yeah, hello, and uh, very welcome to this last day of streaming of the Code Refinery Workshop. Um, so we are in the last day of the uh, teaching sessions of this workshop. And yesterday we looked at documentation and uh, Jupyter and saw some demos. And today this goes on and it basically wraps everything up. So everything comes together again in today's sessions. Uh, now in the morning we have a session about automated testing so really putting all the Git and GitHub things together and um, implement tests that uh, can check your code when you are collaborating with others or working by yourself. And then in the afternoon, we will have a session on modular code development, which is uh, a live coding session where we take a code that is right now in Jupiter and plot something and then uh, show life how to make this more modular so that it can be more easily reused by you and others in the future. Um, and this is highly interactive, so we are like kind of dependent a little bit on you there to give us hints in uh, what to do with the codes uh, in the collaborative document and I'll show in a moment how to do that. But also, uh, please stay until the end. Um, because we will tell you a little bit about uh, what can come after this code refinery workshop and also uh, talk a little bit more about our bring your own code sessions, which you might have seen in the uh, schedule already for next week and the week after Tuesday afternoon. So if you are new here, if you're joining us today for the first time, um, this is a live streamed workshop. So everyone will watch the live stream here on Twitch and then you can interact with the instructors and with some people behind the scenes also via our collaborative document. For that, you need to uh, register to this workshop via the Code Refinery web page, and then you will get the link to this document, which looks something like this. 
So here we have some information for you where you can find old question and answers, the workshop web page, the schedule and the link to the lesson materials. And then we also have some icebreaker question for this morning and the way you can um, add your answers there is to find this little pen symbol, which might be here or somewhere to the right, depending on how you're looking at this page. So you click the pen symbol, you switch into edit mode, and then you can scroll down here to the questions, what's the worst bug you have seen or experienced, and then find these little three dot lines here and add your own answer to the question. And the same for the next ones that we have here. And then we will have um, titles here about each section and underneath here you can ask your question. Uh, is this the place to ask questions? And then hopefully someone will answer. Yes, there's someone answering. And uh, we will um, provide these documents after the course. You can find them on the course web page so you can go back and see what have others asked, what may help your understanding. We'll also have breaks about every, um, 10 minutes every hour and um, all the lesson materials that you might see during this day are available and linked from the workshop page and they will also be available afterwards and uh, you can also reuse them to do your own workshops for example the recordings will stay online on twitch for some days and then they will also be available pro pro approximately tomorrow for today um, on the youtube channel if you're interested in certificates, you can find instructions on that also on the workshop page. Maybe I can show that briefly. So there's up here, this um, certificates um, tab where you can find this and all the materials are linked here behind the <coughs> schedule. And then yeah, the bring your own code sessions. We'll talk about a little bit about this more in the end of today. And now over to our instructors for today, Richard and Jarno. Great, thanks, Samantha. Okay.